Hi, Dad. Hey, thanks for letting us have the place to ourselves yesterday evening, Rodders. Yes, well, don't get too used to it. It's not your own personal love nest. What's a love nest? Why don't you get Grandad to tell you all about it? He could even write a story, seeing as he's so good at those. Nicola, I thought we had a deal that you weren't going to mention that again. Oh, don't worry, roller coaster Rod. Your secret's safe with us. <laughs> you know where Laurel is? I've been trying to call her. Yeah, she's busy on a job in Connelton all day. Connelton? Oh, no. My shooting party's turned up early and... <sighs> Poor Gabby isn't well enough to get back to school yet. Can't you take her with you? Not if I don't want her shot at. Well, then you'll have to find someone else to do it. Laurel's busy. Yeah, so are Ashley, so is Doug, and I... I don't know who else to ask. Unless, of course... Oh, no. Well, actually, yes, you do owe me. I did let you have the house to yourselves the whole of yesterday evening. You only did that to keep your stupid book quiet. No, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Oh, come on. It's not like we're going anywhere. We're supposed to be working. Look, she won't be a nuisance, will you, eh? And if she... Uh, if she is unhappy, you could always read her the book. I don't know how to deal with this snotty child. You'll soon learn. Gabby, I've got to go to work. I'll tell you, Daddy, where you are. I won't be long, OK? Bye-bye. Have fun with Auntie Nicola. Oh. I'm calling on behalf of Emmerdale Exclusive Cleaning Services. We're offering customers a free trial. I'm coming, ready, I'm So not. you can see the professional service now, that we offer. Now, where is Gabby? Would you be interested, Is she behind the shelf? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry no, about the noise. But, uh, yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Can I just take some details? Table. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hello? I found you. And you managed to lose as a client in the process. Trixie. Oh. You can't expect her just to sit quietly. She's a six-year-old girl. She needs to be running about. She'll have to do it somewhere else. I'll never get anything done with you playing hide-and-seek all day. Come on, Gabby. Gabby! <laughs> Hi. Where's TJ? I've just left him upstairs. Well, Gabby and I wondered if he wanted to come and play. Uh, how come you're looking after her today? Well, Dad had to go out, so I offered. Although the cleaning barn's not exactly the best place for kids. I keep expecting to turn my back and find she's been at the bleach. And you want TJ to play over there? Unless you'd rather they both stayed here. Oh, I've got to work and all. Well, if you stuck with one kid, two won't make much difference. I don't know. Uh, things are in this bag. Oh, and you might need this. Apparently, it's the only thing that calms her down when she kicks off. Hey, oh, hang on. I'll be back in an hour. Two, three at the most. Bye, Gabby. Bob's had a bit of bad news about the car. But what's happened to all the money? He hasn't got any money. Oh. Sorry I'm late. Oh, that's all right. We've been having a cracking time, haven't we, Gabby? Yeah. <laughs> hey, she's made me read Rodney's book half a dozen times, and the rest of the time we've been playing roller coasters. It's amazing the rubbish kids get into these days. <laughs> haven't you read it? Actually, it's very good. It's better than most of the stuff I buy in the shops. Really? Yeah. You should get your dad to uh, get a publisher to look at it. <laughs> it's just a daft kid's book. Well, that's what they said about Harry Potter. But look what happened there. Hello? Vodka pint? Yes, please. Hi, Dad. Brothers. How'd you go looking after Gabby today? Great, wasn't it? Mm. We, uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, I bet you did. Seeing as you dumped her on Terry all day. He told you? Yes. He also mentioned how much he enjoyed reading my book, the one you promised to keep quiet about. I don't see what you're so worried about. Everyone thinks it's actually quite good. What do you mean, everyone? Who else have you been showing it to? Well, only Terry. But he reckons you should send it to a publisher. Yeah, I bet he does. So he can have even more of a laugh at my expense. Well, you'd have the last laugh if it became a best-selling author. Well, that is not going to happen. Because I am not sending my book anywhere. There you go. Thank you. Why do you always insist on winding him up? 
He's never going to give us the place to ourselves this evening, is he? He's being ridiculous. He could be sitting on a gold mine. Well, you'll never know if he's not prepared to send it off. Unless I send it for him. <laughs> you can't do that. Well, I don't see why not. I could use the cleaning barn as the return address, and that way he'd never be any the wiser. And, and what if someone actually does want to publish it? Well, then the money will be rolling in, and he'll have nothing to complain about. It's a win-win plan.